Okay, what's up guys, Triple C here. We got the new vehicle today, um, the Night Shark. And that one, I gotta say, it was so fun to drive in that one special vehicle mission we got with the gun running DLC. I absolutely loved it, and I wish it would be made possible to race in races. As of now, I think it's not, um, but it just has so much power. It's just such a overpowered beast, basically, for an off-road vehicle. I'm gonna buy it now. Um, I got the regular price here or you know it is the discounted price because I did all the special vehicle missions so if you have, uh, buy it at the discount price it will cost you 1.245 million so let's go and buy it I'll just take any color because I'll customize it anyways and later we can switch it over to our garage like with the insurgent custom also so it oh no I can oh, okay I can immediately put it in the garage it's nice all right so I didn't know that all right, so now we just bought it. Now we got to wait till it's delivered. All right, so it's just been delivered very quick, actually. And um, apparently you don't tune it up in the mock, but you tune it up regularly in Alice Customs, like with any vehicle. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I won't run you through the whole process of tuning every little bit up because you've seen that a million times. We basically want to look for, I want to see if there's like any um, options which are not um, or, or any special options like guns or whatever, you know, something that's not a regular tuning thing like the engine upgrade, which you guys all know, but something oh, special. So let's take a look at that and then I'll speed the rest up. So here we go armor brakes, body work. Let's take a look at body work. We got window plates. Okay, so you can basically get the window plates so it's harder for people to shoot inside. Then we got door plates. Yeah, so you're basically reinforcing it with armor by doing this, I suspect. Wait, no, no, it doesn't show the armor, but yeah. Okay, headlight protectors, so your lights don't break, or in case you got like... <laughs> in case you got like a... Uh, <laughs> okay, rear light protectors to protect your rear lights so you will not break them that easily, which would be a pity. So, and then we got the engine, exhaust, explosives, grill. Yeah, lots of grill options here. It seems like it. Okay, hood, horn, lights. Plate, respray cell, suspension, transmission, wheels, windows. That's it. No guns. I think you can also put guns on it, I heard. Somebody told me that. We'll figure it out. I'll tell you guys later. Okay, so I'll quickly customize it and then we'll do some fun stuff with this. Okay, so I'm just done customizing it now. It is just beginning to get dark, which means you won't see very good in the lighting, but um, I took the stupidest colors you could imagine so you guys can rip me in the comments. I think it's my first car that doesn't have off-road tires. So let's go and see. Like with a gold and chrome effect on this one, but this one is just so fun to drive. It's just so overpowered And I really really wish that they will add it to the off-road class. I mean, they're destroying the classes anyways I mean, it will be just totally overpowered compared to the other vehicles But if they're destroying all the classes anyways, why not the off-road class too? It is, I mean, the bike is overpowered anyways in the off-road class. Basically, you do not stand a chance. Oh, look, I can shoot you. Ah, here we go. Okay, because it is just so fun to drive, but then again, in free mode, you're still gonna be a sitting duck. And you know what I'm gonna try right now immediately? I'm gonna see how many hits with the RPG it takes until it blows up. So let's try that out. I got like all the top armor upgrades on this one, so let's see here. One. Two. Three, four, five. Okay, so it took five direct hits from the RPG. Um, 
so you're not you're not all the way a sitting duck but still people basically you can't really do anything against anybody you can't fight very good from this vehicle so um, just for the driving experience definitely worth it but if you're gonna have a free mode battle and if you're gonna fight probably don't don't get in this vehicle you're just better vehicles to that let's also check out the insurance how much it costs to reclaim this vehicle uh, let's quickly do that before the cops get in here Morse Mutual, we're here to help. So 15 G's, it's okay. I think we can do that. The press it costs more. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna do some fun stuff with it. Let's go. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, actually, because it is such a quick vehicle and also has such a good acceleration, we're just gonna test it against the Lynx here, which is a sports car, and just see how it performs. And uh, yeah, let's just go. Um, also, disclaimer: I mean, this is of course not a scientific test in any sense. But you will get a clear indication, and you will see a pattern, basically, which car will take it in the end. Like, up to now, from the acceleration, it is quite remarkable that I'm just keeping up with the Lynx. Okay, now the Lynx is getting the edge on me here. But, to be honest, like, if you would compare it to other off-road vehicles, it will be way behind at this point. And especially that initial acceleration and the torque it has also going uphill, that's really remarkable. So, yeah, well, I can't really keep up with the sports cars. I uh, will try some other cars or maybe bicycles. Okay, we're driving over to the Sandy Shores right now because, as you guys know, any good speed test with vehicles is done on a random airfield just driving down the strip quickly. Oh man, look at the torque this thing has going uphill. I mean, it's unbelievable. We actually did that in the special vehicle mission. We went up Mount Chibiad with these, and it's just so fun. That's also why I said it's completely overpowered. I mean, it's unbelievable how it just does not lose any speed going uphill. Maybe find like a really steep wall and test it on that. Look here, it's really steep. It will still accelerate and just jump over it. Like other cars would have not gotten over that. Alright, let's go to Sandy Shores. Oh, oh, guys, I mean, the... I don't like these videos, can the car stop the train, but... Ah, oh, too bad, man. We thought we had the car that would be able to stop the train, but nope. Hmm, maybe I should make like an hour video on this. If this car can stop the train. By the way, when I did that with the mock, a lot of people didn't get the joke. When I did that video with the mock in the train, what I actually said was, um, can the train stop the mock? So the other way around. We weren't trying to stop the train, we were trying to stop the mock. So, for all that didn't get the joke. Alright, so, Night Shark against a black plane. Can the Night Shark beat the black plane on the straight? In case you ever end up in a racing situation. We've done the research for you guys already. Let's go. One, two, three. Go! Easy. So it'll just annihilate every plane without problems. Oh, now the plane's catching up again. No! <laughs> Alright. So yeah, um, if you ever end up in this situation, having to race against the black plane, your initial acceleration will be quicker, but once those jet engines spool up, the black plane is going to be quicker than the night shark again. Okay, next test what we're doing is can the night shark mate with the rat loader? I'm trying to hump the rat loader right here now, and maybe the rat loader might get pregnant and we get a funny vehicle out of it. I don't know, people on PC that mod will have to figure this out. But uh, yeah, definitely can hump the rat loader. By the way, we got these um, turrets we can pull behind the vehicles, which just I'm not buying right now because for me there's no real point in buying them because I wouldn't drive around in free mode with them. It is fun shooting with them though, we did it in the special vehicle missions, I also got footage of that uploaded already. And I will buy them once we get a discounted price, but not right now, as expensive as they are. Also, if you are in free mode and you're really battling, it's probably also for the person sitting at the turret you're going to be pulling. He's going to be a sitting duck, an easy target. You can spam some rockets with it, or also the explosive cannon and stuff. 
but in the end, uh, if you uh, if you go up against somebody who knows what they're doing in free mode, you will not stand a chance, basically. So all in all, I don't know, like, this is probably a bit like the oppressor that's just really fun to drive in free mode, but up to now that we can't really race it, there's no real purpose to this car. So it basically, it is a car just for the fun of it. If you got the money spare and you enjoy it, then why not, you know, take it out for a spin, drive it around in free mode, go up the hills with it. But as far as you really using it in free mode, uh, like I also said with the gun turret, it's probably not going to be your best choice. You'll do better in other vehicles or just fighting on foot or whatever. So um, I also checked in the creator in the meantime, like with the LTSs and captures, deathmatches, races, everything. Um, it's not available there, as are none of the special vehicles, unfortunately. The only ones we got in the creator are the Rocket Vaultic, the Ruiner, and the Blazer Aqua. And that's really a pity. I really hope that Rockstar will add all the special vehicles because there's just so much potential there. Also, like the um, uh, Rocket Vaultic, Blazer Aqua, and the uh, Ruiner, they're only available in races, but we can't build deathmatches, LTSs, and stuff with it, you know. And let's just hope that Rockstar eventually will add them to the creator. I don't know if they're just lazy and forgot, or if it's really a tactic of theirs to. Um, because they want people to buy them and uh, pay a lot of money for them by shark cards and if they would be available in LTSs and captures and stuff people would just play them in custom jobs and not spend money to buy them anymore that could be that that's Rockstar's motivation for not adding them but um, we really need these in creator also with captures and LTSs there's just so much potential there it would be so cool if it would be added uh, I know I will be driving this around in free mode a bit, just having some fun with it. So definitely worth the spin, worth the fun. Um, so yeah, hope that you guys hated the color of the car because that was the only intention of this video. Uh, check you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.